And Solar Orbiter will be the first time that we send a satellite out to take images of the sun's poles and in addition getting the first ever data of the polar magnetic field. And we believe that this really holds the keys to unraveling the mysteries of the sun's activity cycle. And uh, in addition, we will also monitor the far side of the sun, which we cannot see from Earth, and combine that with data from satellites and ground-based telescopes to, to pr provide a full 3D view of our star. Sometimes in this continually flowing soup, we see these um, very energetic kind of explosions on the sun. We call them coronal mass ejections, and we see them embedded in the solar wind. When they arrive here at Earth, they can really disrupt our technology. They can cause problems for GPS, for communications, and of course, for our astronauts. Uh, we, we worry and we want to protect our astronauts. The uh, solar wind can even cause issues for them even while they're in our protective magnetic field. And so as NASA moves forward to return to the moon, to Mars and beyond with our Artemis program, things, missions like Solar Orbiter joining our fleet become really, really critical. And so for us, going with Parker and with uh, Solar Orbiter to da explore that space really addresses that in a, in a fashion that is unprecedented. The goal is not only to have that understanding, but to put that understanding into models. And especially as we go with uh, astronauts outside of the Earth magnetosphere to the moon and then to Mars, we need to be able to predict far away from the Earth. That's precisely where these models will have the most power and will actually help in a direct fashion these astronauts that we're uh, thinking about right now.